So I have EXO's mini album here. This is XOK, XOM. Stick the bottom separately. Um, if you just want one, you just buy the one. So that's uh, fine, whatever. Um, so I'm sure a lot of people aren't going to be happy with the packaging for these. Uh, they are bigger than a jewel case, like this way. They are quite small uh, for Korean release, and they are quite thin. And I can think of multiple reasons why people may not like this packaging. I think it's okay, there's some problems with it, but I don't mind it so much. Uh, the photo shoot, though, is pretty plain. It doesn't exactly have the whole superhero legends tree of life thing that the music video had. Um, so it kind of clashes with that, but I'll get into that later. Um, so I guess we'll do XO K first. So actually when it came, it had uh, this little sticker on the, on the uh, plastic wrap, like so. I almost wish this was like actually on the thing rather than just the wrapping, but it's also kind of, it looks kind of cleaner without it too, but it's basically just the image um, they're using for like, I guess maybe the digital album would have this image and then tracks. Um, yeah. So I think, I think Shiny's Sherlock album, they had like a sticker inside the album that you could use. So it would be kind of nice if they included that for this, but whatever. Um, so the cover here is been pressed. So you have these hexagon shapes here, and then you have the shiny EXO logo. Um, I don't know what to think of this, the hexagon shape. They use it for everything, so it's very consistent, so it works well, but at the same time, it's getting a little beehive honeycomb-ish for me. But, but uh, I don't know. Right. In the back here, we have the track names, and it took me uh, longer than it should have to realize that these were the numbers. So, you know, track one, one, two, three, because um, of the font choice, but it, it is consistent, so. It's good. And again, the actual track titles have been pressed. So what it is, is it's open here and here. And you just have to slide it out the side. I kind of wish it was closed on one side so it would be more like a pocket. Because when you open it inside, you get this fold out thing here. So the, what are they called, lyrics in Korean are here. On the other side has that image again from the sticker. So it's like a little poster thing, I guess you could use it as a poster. But, okay, so this is on your wall now. This stuff goes in here. Oh, oh dear, it falls right out. So, it would be nice if it was closed on one side. But, and it is another thing here, it's, it's, it's fairly thin. It's just like a slightly thicker than paper. So, so there's reason one why people might not like it. Reason two, again, the size. Uh, reason three, paper in the photo book is really thin as well. It is smooth though, so I think it's nice, but it is thin, so there's another reason. And you just get a sleeve here, it's, it has the font on the credit title, and then they didn't use it for the, the actual credits, which is good, because that would be kind of overusing it for the title, it says credit, that's that. Um, inside. They have the EXO logo with the hexagons again, uh, looking a bit soccer ball-y, 
but uh, it is consistent with the use of the hexagons. So, list is on there. Uh, I like their music a lot. Um, and I think it's safe to assume SM is going to repackage this as much as they possibly can. So, I I'm sure the other songs from the teasers will be released eventually, and we'll probably see these songs again. But, uh, anyway. So this is just, uh, like a, again, like a thin card. Okay, so the book, again, as I said. Thin paper. Pictures are very plain. Again, they do not look at all like they have superpowers here. Um, the pictures are okay, I guess. I don't know, it has their names in the corner there. Right there, and if you see, as if each member, then the EXO logo begins to appear. And then, at the end, you have the complete EXO logo there. Um, so I think they did that with the tracks on the big poster-y thing, too. Um, anyway. So, group of X, okay. And we have half of the group here eating something that looks very sticky and gross. Here is the other half of the group with the sticky food or something of some kind there. And there's the whole group again. Uh, I believe this is the poster picture. So here's the back. Uh, open it flat. It's one picture. Um, here again, it's two-page spread, right? But, and so is the first page. But then, with the sticky food, it's again, one picture. But for whatever reason, they didn't put it next to each other. Uh, just uh, something I noticed. Uh, okay, and it does come with a photo card. I got Tio. So I think this group has really good power singers. Uh, there's the back. Has the C D kind of design on it. A little message there. Um, so yeah, on to XOM. I think I might like XOM better, actually, for some reason. So same type of thing, but it's black and then it has Chinese characters. So basically, the, whatever was white in the other one is black in this one. Whatever was black in the other one is white in this one. So that's kind of neat. Again, you open it, take out all this fun stuff here, and you have, oh, and again, it had the sticker on the front, something like that. Um, anyway, lyrics here are in Chinese, and then... That image at the bottom. So 
same problem as XLK one. So as you can see, as I said before, whatever was black is now white. This one looks even more like a soccer ball than the other one. This here, um, it is, I'm assuming, a Korean release. So it has this thing. So, they put in the lyrics for the Korean-speaking population. So what it is, is it has the Chinese, Korean, uh, and then the Romanized Chinese, and then I, I guess the Romanized Korean. So that you can sing along with it, even if you don't know Chinese or Mandarin or whatever. Um, so that's all this is. So if you're like, what the heck is this? It wasn't in the other one. I don't know what this is. That's what this is. Um, so same type of uh, layout for this book. So there's the group again, and then again we have half the group. And they've got their names in the corner again, in English letters. Although these pictures are more just like face shots. Um. I think Chen has a great voice. Um. Yeah. So again, like the XRK one, if you kind of do it like that, it's one picture. And I think, I don't know, is this, maybe this might be the poster actually, I'm not sure, um, forgot. Okay. So for this one I got Chris. Thumbs up there. And curly signature. Very curly. Uh, it says we are one. Be happy always. So there's a little bit of English there. A little bit of Chinese. Also, I don't know if they've said anything yet, but let me know what you think about the rest of the teaser songs if and how they're going to be released. Uh, I've already stated my thoughts. Uh, I think they're gonna repackage it like a million times. Either do like a, another mini album and then a repackage full length album, or they'll do a full length album and possibly a repackage of that. That's what I think they might be doing. Um, which is kind of annoying, but I mean, I, I have a feeling they're gonna do a repackage somehow. So. Well, yeah, but <laughs> I, I do hope they release the or full songs from those teasers, or at least some of them, because um, these ones are pretty good. So I guess I don't really have. Uh, okay, maybe one more thing to comment on the fold-out thing. You can see they've scored it so it folds up nicely like this. When you try to unfold it. It, it does weird things where the creases and um, because it's had books and stuff inside of it some of the edges that get a bit weirdly bent stuff like that um, it's nothing particularly horrible but it's a little annoying and then if you're the kind of person that does not buy your posters folded this might annoy you a little bit um, I don't know. I think they should have just either used it as a, like a folder type thing, 
or the poster. Um, I don't know. Maybe had a different folded one inside and then this just stays as a folder or something. I don't know. But this this thing here is basically my only real problem with this release. Uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, let me know, uh, who is your favorite member of each, each subgroup thingy here? Um, I guess for me, I'd, I'd say I like the, the ones who sing the most, probably the best. I think they have good voices. Um, yeah, I guess, I don't know. Um, whatever. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Happy photo card collecting, and uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs>